Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design concrete columns and concrete shear walls in STAD Advanced Concrete Design from a model that was created and analyzed in STAD Pro. At this point in our workflow, we've already performed the full design in STAD Advanced Concrete Design and we're ready to review our results a little further. So in this video, we're going to show you some of the options where you can review and modify your column designs. To start, let's go ahead and select one of our columns. And we're going to be working primarily with our first column in this model, which is C4. You're going to select that column, go to the Modify menu option, and say Redesign Column. Now this command is used to redesign an entire column from the start level to the end level. As you can see, I can change any of the material properties or section properties, bracing information, and so forth for this particular column that I have selected. If I would like to make any changes, I can make them here and then click redesign, or to disregard any changes, I can just hit the cancel button. In addition to being able to redesign a particular column from the start level to the end level, you're also able to redesign all columns on a particularly selected level. To do that, we're gonna go up to the menu bar option, select modify and redesign level. Then within this dialog, you can select each level you want to work on. That's our first floor. Here's our second floor, and then our third floor for this particular structure. As you can see on a floor by floor basis, you can manually edit the material properties and concrete cover for both your columns and beams. If you make any changes, you can click the redesign button and then accept, or you can click cancel to disregard any changes. You can also go ahead and review and modify the column design results and customize your reinforcement in the process. To do that, we're gonna do that on a column by column basis. So I'm gonna select a column I want to work on. And for this case, we will work on column C4. I'm gonna to return to the modify menu bar option and we will go ahead and click redesign section. This will bring up a dialog that will allow you to go ahead and customize your reinforcement for any particular section in your model. As you can see, this is dependent upon what selection we've made. Here you can see I've selected C4 from zero feet to 12 feet. So this is my first floor level. I'll be able to see all of the design input information and I'll be able to see its reinforcement. Here you can see that this was detailed with 12 number six bars. Let's go ahead and close out of that particular column. And one of the ones I wanna take a look at is one where we have mixed bars at a particular level. So let's go ahead now and select C5 from zero to 12 feet. We will select modify, followed by redesign section. And then let's take a closer look at a column where we might wanna change some of the reinforcement. As you can see, again, the column section and material properties have been automatically specified for us based on both our analysis model and the information we put into STAT Advanced Concrete Design. As I take a look in this window though, I've now decided that I'd rather not have bars that change diameter in a particular section. So I can go ahead and make those changes right here. To do that, you're gonna select the bar diameter you want. I'm gonna select number six bars. You're gonna see this icon is automatically selected for you, change bar diameter. Then you can click on a bar that you want to change the bar diameter. Now the way the program considers this is the, they are in groups, so the interior bars are all changed when you select one of them. The corner bars work the same way. Now at this point, I've edited the section. 
So I want to reperform the design on this particular section to see if it's now acceptable. To do that, we're going to go and click on the redesign button. And we will be able to see that this new design is acceptable. Here we can see our capacity ratio, critical load combinations, and section capacity information. If I like the changes I've made, I can go ahead and click on the accept icon. And then we're going to notice that the table, our design output table, will be updated. Now, let's say, for example, that I like that reinforcement and I want other columns to be detailed the same way, but I don't necessarily want to click on each one and edit them individually. Well, STAT Advanced Concrete Design also includes the possibility to copy reinforcement. So let's go ahead and select the reinforcement we like, 12 number 6 bars and I will click copy reinforcement. It'll get copied to my clipboard. Then I'm going to pick any column where I want to make some changes. Here I'm going to select column C11. Right click and I'll say paste reinforcement and it'll paste the bars from the clipboard. Here you can see that the design has been updated and it's still in green, meaning that this is a successful layout. And I'm going to repeat that process anywhere else. I want to modify the reinforcement to be the same as what I have on my clipboard. In addition to being able to redesign your columns on a section by section basis, you're also able to redesign your combined walls or basically your concrete shear walls. To do that, we're going to select one of our combined walls at a particular level. I'm going to take a look at our first combined wall from 0 to 12 feet. To modify this section, we're going to use the same exact command that we use for columns. We're going to go to Modify, Redesign, Section. Now this will bring up our combined wall information. Here I can see all of my design parameters for the wall and the reinforcement information. Now, if I want to work on a particular wall at a time, I'm going to go ahead and just double click on that wall and it'll bring up a larger view. Here you can see I have all of those bar diameter tools available to me so I can customize the bar arrangement if I choose. Let's go ahead and exit out of this and let's go ahead and keep the default properties. In addition to that, I also wanted to point out that for this particular model, my concrete wall changes thickness as we work our way up the column. So here I can go to redefine section again. Now I'm up at the second floor level and I can see that this has a different thickness than the wall on the level below. So STAD Advanced Concrete Design does allow walls of different thicknesses to be designed and detailed in the product. For this particular model, I'm going to go ahead and disregard any changes for my shear walls and accept the default reinforcement. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.